Thank you very much. Um, so uh, as, uh, as Katie uh, uh, said uh, yesterday, I am going to, uh, to speak about bending of uh, representations uh, in, uh, uh, in the group of homeomorphisms. of the circle. OK. Uh, so, um, so the first thing I, I, I'd like to uh, comment uh, is on, uh, on semi-conjugacy. So uh, there was a definition given uh, by, by KT, and uh, there are actually uh, uh, several ways of, uh, of, uh, of doing that. Um, but what I want to, to relate uh, right now is uh, I want to relate this with minimality. As uh, this is one way of uh, thinking about it. So, uh, so th there is a basic fact an ancient fact, uh, I think, uh, by Poincaré, uh, is that if you have a, a discrete group and, and acting on the circle, uh, so that's uh, to say we have a representation of uh, the surface group in homeo of the circle, okay, then, uh, then one of the following holds. So you may have uh, you may have a finite orbit okay or you may uh, be a minimal action so this means that every orbit is dense and uh, and finally you can have uh, a, a minimal Uh, a minimal counter set invariant by the invariant by the action okay another thing is that um, 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 maybe uh, it is an exercise uh, with the definition given yesterday to check that uh, in, in the first case, if you, if you have a finite orbit, then your action is semi-conjugate to, uh, to an action by rigid rotations on the circle. And in the last case, um, in the last case, uh, the representation is semi-conjugate to a minimal action. So that's basically the idea that, um, that the, this is, uh, the action is really what you see on an, a counter set or on a finite set. And so you, you're going to just uh, contract the complementary uh, by conjugations, and to the limit you get a semi-conjugation. And, uh, and yes? What's your hypothesis on gamma? Because, I mean, if, if, for instance, if you fix a, a point at infinity, you know, the real line, then you're not saying... Then, oh, yeah. So, okay. So this is a semi-conjugation in, in this group. And indeed, with uh, the definition Katie gave, uh, 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 oh, sorry. Oh, oh sorry. Sorry. Um, uh, okay. Uh, maybe uh, I, I give a quick uh, alternate uh, alternative, or maybe take that take that as a definition. Maybe. Okay. Okay. And if you have an action with a fixed point, then it semi conjugates to the trivial action, and that's what's uh, uh, is what is here. Um, okay, and, uh, and now, uh, so to uh, uh, really, uh, uh, what's so going... There are different definitions of semi-conjugacy, and I think for some definitions you won't allow, you can't, 
what you said doesn't doesn't hold true. If if you if you lag by fixing a point, then you're not semi free. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Contradictions are not are not surjective. They don't have to be surjective. No, they don't. They don't have to, and then everything is okay. Well, so if you take the uh, the relation generated by what uh, Katie did, uh, then uh, then yes, uh, okay. But I mean, um, there is a very direct way which which uh, was uh, really uh, uh, used by by Gis uh, in uh, the article in which he he defined this uh, directly in from for maps from R to R, uh, and uh, and that comes with. Uh, uh, with uh, another fact, so uh, for this uh, definition of semi-conjugacy is that um, uh, is that uh, for minimal actions, uh, semi-conjugacy is is nothing else than conjugacy. Okay, um, and uh, one uh, last thing on on this uh, on this theme is uh, is that uh, obviously if you have an action of a surface group to the group of homeomorphisms of the circle, uh, which uh, has a finite orbit, then it's never going to be rigid. Uh, you, you can change the angles of your of your rotations, uh, and so really we are interested in. Uh, in minimal actions and deforming minimal actions among them. Okay, uh, okay that's uh, uh, one, uh, one thing. Um, and also, um, just uh, uh, Katie said that, y that uh, yesterday, but uh, I, maybe I, I, I'm going to insist just a little more. So you have this, uh, the, the map, uh, rotation number from this group uh, to, to this one, which uh, measures, uh, in average, when you iterate, how much uh, the maps uh, rotate in the circle. And you have, uh, so uh, it's, uh, it's a lift from upstairs. So I don't need that. Okay, and uh, and so um, and now you, you have uh, this uh, this thing, the uh, translation cocycle from uh, Romeo of S one to the square to R, and actually just uh, to to minus one one. Uh, that's where it takes its its image. Uh, so you you can take uh, a map F and a map G, and you can uh, lift them and compute uh, the translation number and uh, compare it with the uh, the sum of rotation numbers. Okay, and this this obviously is not going to depend on on your choices of lifts, uh, and uh, and so that's that's a well-defined map, and uh, and, and here uh, the uh, theorem of Matsumoto, using a lot uh, that paper of Gis, tells you that uh, um, uh, the data of a semi-conjugacy class is exactly the data of rotation numbers for each curve as well as uh, translation uh, cycle for each pair of curves. Um, OK. And, and then uh, I'm going to, uh, to enter uh, uh, to, uh, to uh, the uh, bending deformations of representations. And so this is, uh, this is, uh, uh, this is uh, quite uh, classical in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in the Lie group uh, setting. Uh, so, oh, yeah, so, uh, so
So uh, th this is a, a theorem that says that um, so you you have a map from home u oh, from sorry from home of uh, gamma. You take a discrete group, any discrete group, to home u of the circle. Okay, and uh, and to to uh, to each uh, representation, you can assign the functions the function on 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 three variables. Yes, that to uh, that um, uh, given a representation, you, you are going to to look at the map uh, gamma one, gamma two, gamma three. Um, which um, uh, you're going to look at uh, the rotation number of rho of gamma 1, okay? And you're, you're going to look at the translation co-cycles of rho of gamma 2, rho of gamma 3, okay? And Matsumoto says that uh, rho 1 and rho 2 are semi-conjugate, If and only if m of rho one is equal to m of rho two. So, uh, so once again, the, the, the you, you in in this in this setting in this setting, yes yes, yeah. Um, okay. Um, okay. Okay. Okay, and then uh, let's do bending. Uh, so we, we're going to bend representation along uh, simple closed curves. So actually, that's only along uh, non-separating simple closed curves that we are really going to, to work. Um, so, um, so, so, uh, uh, so, so, so this here, I'm really, uh, go uh, th this, this is going to, to work only for representations of surface groups. Okay, so, uh, so uh, we have a preferred uh, presentation. And uh, when I write the, uh, the product of commutators, I want to think that I'm, I'm using uh, um, uh, maps of the circle, and so I want to compose from right to left, right? So, so I'm going to write A1, B1, A1 inverse, B1 inverse, composed with until uh, B, G inverse, and this is equal to 1. Okay, so this is uh, the presentation of a surface group. And, and now, whenever I have two curves that look like that, which are at the beginning of such a, a system of generators, then uh, if, I, if I have a representation Of a surface group into into actually any uh, any uh, any group so far, uh, then uh, then I I can make up uh, another one. Um, so I I'm going to bend along a one. Okay, and and that's uh, kind of uh, I'm thinking of the dent twist along along <laughs> along a curve freely homotopic to a one, and so. Uh, the bending along these curves is uh, is going to I'm going to to take uh, some element in the centralizer of um, of uh, row of a1, okay, and and I'm going to to cook up a, a new representation row prime um, uh, by by sending. Uh, a1, etc., uh, AI, BI, to, um, 
to rho of AI, rho of BI. So basically, you don't change anything except, except for uh, B1. Uh, except uh, that you take rho prime of B1. This is going to be, uh, first you do rho of B1, and then you compose with A. Okay, and, and since A, since in the centralizer, <coughs> since A commutes with uh, rho of A1, when you, when, you, when you compute the commutator, you, don't, you see you didn't change anything. Okay, and so, uh, and so uh, this, uh, this does give a representation. Um, a new representation which is a bending along a, a bending of row one along a one a bending of row sorry along a one okay so uh, um, so this is for a, a separate uh, non separating curve a one I could do the same along a, a separating curve. Uh, just the same, uh, I would, uh, I would, uh, uh, I would uh, have a, a curve uh, C, say, and conjugate uh, everything on one side and do not change on the other side. And uh, that would define a, um, a another, another type of bending, but that's uh, really the same, uh, the same uh, uh, philosophy. And so in order to, to, to understand what I can reach by bending, uh, that boils down to really uh, understanding how are the stabilizers of uh, individual elements in the group. And so, uh, so uh, let's look at centralizers in the group uh, homeo of S1. Okay, so, so I take a map F. And um, um, we have different possibilities, and the uh, the most uh, accidental possibility is when uh, is when f is a rotation of of, uh, of infinite order. So if f is a rotation. Okay, so when I, when I say rotation, what I mean is conjugate to a rotation, to a rigid rotation. So if F is a rotation with an um, um, uh, angle of rotation which is not rational, then, then it's, it's uh, quite easy to check that the centralizer of F is, uh, is nothing more than the other rotations uh, that look the same. Okay. And, and the point is that in any other case, the centralizers are very much bigger. So, um, so uh, first thing, if if uh, F uh, is a rotation of a rational angle, then uh, I can think of uh, this rotation as a covering of uh, the, uh, the circle to onto a, a smaller circle. And, and, and so, uh, and so uh, the centralizer of F then is just going to be uh, an extension of uh, homeo plus of the circle. Um, okay, but now, if um, 
if I have something more interesting than, than a, a rotation, so if, um, if f um, is not a rotation, then uh, it may have um, it may have irrational rotation angle, and in that case, uh, and in that case, it's going to 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 preserve a counter set. So, um, let's say it uh, k sub f, and uh, and if um, if not, if it is uh, rational. Then uh, I'm going to consider. Um, I, I can consider the set of periodic points of f, and actually it's going to be a little more interesting to consider the uh, the boundary of this set. Um, and um, uh, and so in in both cases, uh, this uh, thing I'm going to call k. And so what I can do is uh, is consider the circle, and I remove k, and this is a union of intervals. Okay, and uh, and uh, and f uh, permutes these uh, these intervals. Okay, and and so um, so I'm going to to choose a representant for each uh, orbit. And then I'm going to, to define some, some map from uh, that interval to itself and, uh, and, uh, and use the map f to, uh, to extend it everywhere. And so, uh, so, where, so, so, if um, if uh, this rotation uh, was uh, was uh, irrational, then uh, in in this action of f on this set of intervals, there are no stabilizers, so I can do really everything I I, I want. And uh, and if uh, and if not, then uh, there is just a a, a cyclic uh, permutation of f on each uh, on each orbit, and then I, I just have one map. To commute with, but so I, I really have a lot of freedom there, and and so uh, and, and so that gives me uh, tons of uh, of um, of um, so this this gives tons of um, of one parameter groups. In uh, the centralizer, in in any case, um, and and uh, and uh, what we are more interested in is to to do this in in a specific way. So uh, so uh, it's uh, it's it's going to be uh, useful to do it uh, so that um, uh, if I have a parameter group S T. Um, so I, I can build um, uh, this way um, uh, one parameter groups in the centralizer that have uh, positive dynamics. In the sense that um, in the sense that uh, any time I have uh, such an interval uh, i alpha, then uh, then for every t uh, positive, I'm just going to to push the point to the right, and and for t negative, I'm going to to push to the left. Yes, and and so uh, so, so this I'm going to call a a positive. 
uh, one parameter group uh, commuting so in the centralizer of f. Okay. Um, Um, so in particular, we, we have, um, um, for all t non-zero, I'm going to have uh, the fixed set of uh, st, which is going to be exactly uh, k, this uh, set I was starting with. Uh, so, um, okay, so, so that's, um, that's uh, something uh, useful. Uh, in every centralizer, I have um, I have these maps that uh, push things to uh, in in a way uh, that we can control. And so uh, now, just as a, a warm up of what comes next, so that should be uh, four. I don't know, or three, maybe three. Um, um, uh, then let's use this. To, to prove that there are no, uh, no irrational um, uh, rotation numbers um, for a rigid representation. So, so more, more precisely, um, so take um, a rigid representation Okay, and then, um, and then for every for every gamma, which represents a a simple and non-separating curve, we have that um, its rotation number is going to be rational. Okay, and uh, and also um, and also we are going to, to see that uh, rho of gamma cannot be a rotation. So this is uh, the easiest part, and and let's uh, let's see this this uh, right now. So, um, so uh, suppose. Um, so I, I take um, I take a curve um, alpha, or yeah, like this, or um, a one. Okay, and suppose that rot of. So first, suppose that for contradiction, that. Uh, um, um, that uh, some some curve is mapped to a rotation. Okay, then um, 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 so it's a rotation. So it lives in uh, in in some group conjugate to SU two, and uh, in this group uh, conjugate to SU two, I have uh, rotations uh, R theta. Okay, and now I, I just uh, claim that uh, that uh, the map uh, that assigns uh, theta to the rotation number of rho of uh, b1. So I should uh, draw this more properly, maybe with always the same picture. This one is rather a1, and this is going to be b1. So if I look at this composition, then um, the, the rotation number is not, is not going to be constant. And uh, one way to see this is that I can just uh, lift uh, all these elements to as homeomorphisms of R. And uh, when I add, uh, I, I add a full turn 
to theta. Uh, this is going to add uh, one to the translation number here. And so this is an element of the circle. And if I do something, it, it, it upstairs it increments by one. And so downstairs, it cannot be constant. Does that make sense? Uh, so this is not constant. And, and so and so uh, and so the representation is not rigid. Okay. Okay. So so now um, uh, so now let's assume for contradiction that I have a curve uh, mapped to an element with irrational rotation number. So now, suppose that the rotation number of rho of A1 is not rational. Oh, and here I'm going to use a, a, a minimal representative of rho. So suppose rho is minimal, which I can do. OK, so, so if uh, rho of A1 uh, has an irrational rotation number but is not a rotation, then it fixes some counter set. So it has a, a, counter, a minimal counter set. Let's call it KA1. Okay. And then I, I claim that, that I, I can choose B1 properly. So that um, rho of um, B1 uh, does, not s does not stabilize K1, KA1. So why is that? That's because uh, actually the, the, uh, the whole group is generated by uh, curves uh, B1 uh, that uh, look exactly this. On, in the surface. And, uh, and so if uh, this was not the case, then uh, Ka1 would be, uh, uh, would be invariant, and so my action would not be minimal. Okay? Um, and so, so there is some B1 which is going to do that. Okay. And, uh, and now we are going to, uh, to, to twist B1 along A1 uh, uh, in order to ensure that uh, the B1 is going to have zero rotation number. And, uh, and, and once we do that, we are going to twist um, A1 along this uh, curve of, of zero rotation number so that its rotation number has to change. So, uh, so let's do the first. Uh, first. Um, so uh, here, uh, I, I know there exists some x in k a1, so that um, rho of b1 uh, of x is not in the counter set. Okay. So here I have uh, rho of b1 of x. Some, somewhere I, I have x. Okay, and, and here I, I can use a, a, an interval of the complement of, uh, of k, of ka. Okay, and I have its, uh, its pre-image here. Here it's going to be rho of b1 inverse of i. And so this I'm going to call j. Okay. And the thing is that um, huh, x is in the counter set. And so if I, if I uh, use uh, this interval and, uh, and apply a uh, row of uh, a1 many times, then I'm going to, to, I'm going to get to some interval very close to x. Okay. And so here I'm going to find an interval of the type, of the type row of a1 to the n uh, applied to i. 
Okay. And this, this, uh, this just tells me that um, if I look now at uh, row of B1 and then row of A1 to the N, I hope I'm correct here with the ind indexes, then uh, this, uh, this uh, homeomorphism of the circle is just going to shrink uh, the interval J. So I start from, from J, I apply B, and then I apply A many times, and, and then this composition just shrinks this interval. And the outcome is that, is that the rotation number, a, a, this map has to have a fixed point in there. So uh, the rotation number of rho of A1 to the N, B, is zero. And uh, actually, um, uh, this uh, right here I is not uh, bending, sorry, but the, um, um, so it's not uh, bending so far, but what it tells me is that without loss of generality, uh, the rotation number of rho of B1 is zero. Okay, and so B1, is a map that uh, sends uh, some points of uh, the counter set uh, to something else. Okay, so so here I, I have now row of B1 has fixed points, and and so um, and so the the outcome is that there are some fixed points of this map. Okay, and I'm looking at an, an interval complementary to that, and uh, and I can find an, uh, an interval complementary to this set, which contains points of the counter set, and and there they are as many as I want, and so I can find some point Y, and its image by some iterate of row of A1. Is it okay? So, so now, um, so now, um, so now I choose a, I choose a, a positive one-parameter group commuting with row of B1. So I'm, let's write it B sub T, okay? And then the claim is that um, if I apply rho of A1 and then BT, and, and this uh, with a T varying, then this uh, has a, a non-constant uh, rotation number. And the reason for that is that, okay, in, in this picture, I have some, uh, I have some, some, uh, some distance here, um, delta. Um, okay. And, um, and so if I, if I choose a lift to, uh, to homeomorphisms of R, then I, I have uh, this, uh, uh, if I if I choose uh, let's choose one lift and keep it, and and so uh, if if we compute this to uh, uh, an element that actually lifts uh, uh, y to to r, then um, um, then this is going to be y plus this delta and plus some integer that depends on the lift. Okay, and 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 now. The thing is that for 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 t uh, small enough, then the uh, um, the uh, b sub t is going to to send me back there. Okay, because uh, because because b sub t has positive dynamics, so so for t uh, small enough, I, b, t, b sub t does that. Okay, 
and then uh, and then uh, I uh, I have this R of a1 to the n uh, composed with b sub t. So this really means the lift in R that fixes that has fixed points. Then uh, this is going to be less than y plus m. Okay. And now the the good thing with uh, with positive dynamics is that okay this thing I I I, I iterate a lot of times and uh, and the rest of times bt I don't know what it does but it has positive dynamics and so so we know that we know that uh, that uh, bt composed with rho of a1 uh, tilde all this to the n of y is less than this one. Okay, and this is because uh, because uh, BT just uh, pulls things to to the to the left. Okay, and and this and now I'm in good, I'm in good shape because that's really this this map that I'm using. So at at time zero, I have a point Y that is mapped uh, next to uh, to to this point, and at some time, uh, it is less than uh, Y plus M, and so for for some. Um, uh, T naught. Uh, I have uh, B T uh, composed with uh, rho of a one. Um, this to the n of y. This is going to be equal to y plus m. And this uh, really tells you that y is a periodic point. So so you you have uh, uh, that the rotation number of B T composed with rho of a one. Now here B T naught. This is uh, m over n. Okay, and so if it was uh, rational to start with, and now it's irrational, it was not constant. And and so uh, and so okay. So so what's going on here? Um, uh, this um, uh, this this uh, trick of of using uh, of using a positive. Um, uh, centralizers uh, enables me to to really uh, change some rotation numbers, and uh, and, and and that proves uh, this proposition. Is is it uh, is it okay? Um, okay, and uh, and now let's um, um, hmm. and now let's let's uh, go uh, very much uh, further to uh, to um, to uh, what uh, Katie promised yesterday so um, so now from this we are going to to go uh, towards um, I don't know towards a condition uh, s uh, k so so this uh, this is really what uh, KT was uh, was telling uh, uh, telling us um, so we say that uh, f and g, two homeomorphisms of the circle, uh, satisfy the condition uh, S k if uh, if they really look like uh, uh, what Katie suggested. So uh, so uh, if uh, uh, f is conjugated to uh, to a lift. To some lift of a hyperbolic element in in PSL two R, so this is F, okay, and and uh, and the same for B and with with uh, points that alternate. Okay, and and, uh, and and big part of what we had to do is to prove the following thing. Um, that uh, suppose um, you start with a rigid representation. Okay, and and we are going to suppose also that I have two curves A and B uh, as usual uh, A and B 
Okay, and suppose they don't share periodic points. Okay, and then we can use rigidity to to um, to to increase it to that condition. Okay. So let me say just a, a few words to, to say that uh, now this this is uh, this is ex extremely close now to uh, to to geometricity is <coughs> so uh, just a, a remark on uh, on what we can do with that uh, uh, thing is. This, uh, this uh, condition really tells us just about two curves, A and B. So I have two curves, A and B, with some condition that uh, we can hope uh, I can find two curves with uh, disjoint periodic points. And, uh, and then, uh, then, uh, then uh, actually, they are going to, to have a finite number of, of, of periodic points. And, and from that, I'm going to, to be able to do, uh, to do bending uh, of uh, one along the other to, uh, to, to just uh, push a little all the periodic points. Okay. And, and then this is going to tell me that if I have a, a third curve like uh, C, um, uh, then, um, then I, I'm going to be able to, to push the periodic points of, uh, of uh, B, so that they are going to avoid those of C. And, uh, and once we've done that, then I know that uh, C also has uh, 2k periodic points. And, and so this property is going to, to propagate along, uh, along all the curves, and, uh, and is going to be satisfied by all the curves. Uh, and so, uh, and so if, if, we, if we know that we are really in good shape for, uh, for uh, for uh, geometricity, okay, and um, and so le let me uh, huh. let me uh, try to to give some hints about how to prove that. Um, um, so the hypothesis is uh, I, I have uh, these uh, these two um, um, I have these two um, closed subsets of the circle. And the hypothesis is that they are disjoints. And so in, in the compact circle, they are actually very far away. So, uh, so the circle is going to look like that. Um, <coughs> so I'm going, to, I'm going to have some periodic points of A. And then I'm going to, to encounter some, uh, I'm going to wait for some positive distance and then I'm going to encounter periodic point of B, and then I'm going to hit some other periodic points of A, etc. And I have this uh, pattern in, in some number. OK, let's put the third one. OK, so the circle really looks like that. And, um, and, and now, from this information, I can read a lot in the conjugacy class of, uh, of, um, of, uh, of the representation I'm, I'm, I'm looking at. Um, 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 so so um, uh, I have uh, this, uh, this number of, uh, of, uh, of things uh, here, of, of uh, green thing, things, say. And, and this actually is going to, to be odd. Uh, we are going to see this uh, right now. And this is going to be uh, twice, uh, twice k. Uh, and uh, so from, from this picture, uh, we are going to, to take some 
information about the maps A and B. Uh, uh, A uh, has some dynamics. So A, no, A, A uh, can, can uh, may not have fixed points, but A, so rot of rho of A is going to be something like P depending on A over Q depending on A. And so uh, the first iterate of rho of A, which is going to have fixed points, is uh, A to the Q of A. And uh, this map, A to the Q of A, rho of A to the Q of A, this uh, iterate of, uh, of uh, rho of A, um, it, it has fixed points, but it, it, it has no fixed points in between these two. And so either it has uh, positive or, dynami or negative dynamics. And so this gives me a sign. Let's say uh, A epsilon A1. Okay, and similarly, from here I have some, I have a sign, epsilon B1. And then I'm going to move to, to some other sign here, um, epsilon A2, etc. Okay, and so what I get from the, uh, the representation is a sequence of sign. Um, so an integer n and a sequence which is uh, well defined up to uh, cyclic permutations. of signs, epsilon 1 a1, epsilon b1, until, until the last, which is epsilon bn, which is the number of, of things here. OK. And, and, the, uh, and, and now the thing is that um, the, uh, the translation cycle. Uh, he, he knows of, uh, of all this <coughs> data and in, in, a very, in, in a very natural way. So uh, you, you, can, you can say uh, A, uh, you can set A to be, uh, to be, um, um, to be the lift of uh, rho of A to the Q of A. Um, uh, uh, with uh, translation with uh, translation number zero, okay, and you can do the same for a row of B. Okay, and and now what's going to happen to me is that if I if I apply a to the epsilon a1 times a, a very big integer for uh, and then b to the epsilon b1 times the the uh, another uh, the same uh, very big integer and i'm going to do this whole composition then the uh, the translation number of this is going to be at least one. Because if I start from a point uh, in, in this region and, uh, and apply uh, this, uh, this A, I'm going to end in this region. And then, uh, and then I apply B to, to the correct power, to the correct uh, sign. And I'm going to, to be there, etc. And then I'm going to, to, do, uh, to do just a little more than a full turn to this point. And, and the, the thing is that, uh, that um, um, this is really the, the least complexity of uh, what I can write in order to have this property. And, and, and so it, it really comes with the, the translation cycle. And as a result, uh, I can, if I, if I can, if I can push my representation to do something, and and 
and, and then uh, this is uh, different, then it's really not semi-conjugate. It's really that I, I, I did something nasty. Um, and, um, okay. uh, and, and from this, uh, I can conclude that uh, the signs Uh, epsilon A1, um, epsilon A2, etc. So I, I consider only those for A, then they have to alternate. And the proof of that is that uh, suppose I have two consecutive regions where uh, this thing has. Uh, say positive dynamics. Okay. Then what I can do is uh, is uh, is uh, is uh, is push uh, very much a by uh, bending along b, so that a point like here um, for a, um, yeah. Um, um, when, when I when I apply uh, this, I'm going to maybe to get uh, oh what I'm saying. Um, okay, the, the the thing is that when when I apply the uh, when I apply rho of a to some power, then I'm going to to get maybe in that region, but but then twisting along b is going to 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 help me to 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 jump into that region. Okay, and and so, and and so, um, and so, uh, I I have some some uh, some periodic set that uh, is going to to disappear from from this picture, and and uh, and so that's really uh, what uh, the idea of what happened what's <coughs> happening here, and 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 so um, and so so this is it. Uh, the uh, the number n uh, has to be uh, has to be odd has to be even, sorry, uh, for the, the signs uh, to cyclically uh, alternate. And, and so I, I, get my, I get my k. And, uh, and, and so I, I, we are almost there with uh, these uh, dynamics, except that, uh, that we may have uh, periodic sets which are a little too big instead of points. And, and for that, uh, maybe uh, there is a, a, a good exercise for our students. Uh, is uh, suppose you have a, a map f uh, from um, from R to A B with uh, A B uh, finite, and suppose you have a homeomorphism and which uh, preserves the orientation. I, I have a map like this. Okay, and and then uh, there exists some t, so that uh, if I do uh, f and compose with a translation by t, I can choose t so that this map has a unique fixed point. Okay, and okay, and from th this is really an exercise uh, for uh, for uh, uh, this is really an exercise. And and now what I'm saying is that okay, suppose that uh, k k is one, then uh, that's really what uh, enables me to to shrink these two points, right? Because um, um, because uh, on 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 uh, on the a side, I can I can. Uh, I can conjugate so that uh, I have a, a, a on, on, on this interval does a, like, a, like a flow and then B uh, and then B is going because of the alternating things with the signs is going to, to push things inside and so that's exactly this setting and so and so in order to, to push all these uh, all these regions to points then you just have to generalize a little this exercise uh, to uh, to the case when 
uh, there are a lot of them, and, and that's 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 just doable. Uh, okay, and maybe uh, maybe uh, I thank you for your patience. Ah. Oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh. Hmm. Well. Okay. There's there's a trick. So uh, so all these bendings uh, give me a, a little, a, a slightly uh, better property than just uh, rigidity. Is really a path rigidity among representations. So uh, so so all these. Um, um, and, and we, we do have uh, this, uh, actually this is how we, we do, uh, we do uh, the, the main result in the end. Uh, we, uh, we actually do a path rigidity most of the time. And, uh, and this path rigidity is always through bendings. And so, uh, and so uh, almost uh, the answer would be yes. And, uh, conjecturally yes. Conjecturally yes. Thank you. Yeah. 